So for this patch, we're looking at our friend signal mode, which on the face of it might not be the most uh, interesting seeming mode out there. You know, all it does is attenuate and offset and clip CV signals and things like that. But in practice, it's like an attenuator, which you can perform with very easily with your hands. So it's always a nice idea trying to put signal in between something like a sequencer, which is in this case going to modulate the decay time. Try putting signal in the middle and using it as a performance tool. So all I'm doing here is just opening the, the decay time as sent through from this sequencer. So I get more longer notes in there, get the maximum range of notes. Say I don't want to hear any short notes, I can reduce the minimum value. And now our short notes are gone. Make the longer notes shorter, move that little window down to a tighter level. Now I want the shortest notes again, the longest notes again. And so on. So we also have this connected to a couple of timbre parameters, the wave folding on the oscillator, and also the position of this filter bank. So we can open that up. So this is like our brightness control, essentially. And again, I want less darker notes. I reduce the bottom level up, and now we're only playing brighter notes. Or only long notes, no short notes. Make the short note, the long notes shorter. So comparing this to how you normally just connect your CV source directly to your attenuator or directly to your value, this is literally getting your hands onto how this is sounding in real time. And again, this is going to be a recurring theme, but when you can feel things out, you can kind of follow your ears, follow how you want things to be. And signal is a really great way of giving you that form of control over any other signal in your system. So we highly recommend putting signal mode in between your CEV processor and its destination and just playing around.